So a Ukrainian man who once lived in Westlake, he was a foreign exchange student, is now back in his home country. We have been following his story as he helps those on the ground where he lives. Marissa Sign spoke with him about what's changed in the past couple of days. Life for Roman Vidral two days ago is no better than today. Got worse to some extent. The silver lining for him is that people he knows, his family, are fleeing to safety. Pretty much a lot of my friends have, have managed to get out of Kharkiv at least. My parents are still on the go. His parents tried to stay in their hometown, Kharkiv, but made a last minute decision to leave the country. They're on this journey um, to cross the border and go to my sister who lives in Europe. Roman is helping coordinate their whereabouts and their safety, but says in a situation when one might feel anxious or overwhelmed, he doesn't. My emotional state it, you know, it just froze. When we talked to Roman on Wednesday, what would come next was a guessing game for him. It still is. There's the initial, this initial spike of panic uh, got easily transformed into anxiety. It simply gets transformed into anger. Anger combined with a plan produces courage. That plan is one he and thousands of others are executing using every means possible, working to get supplies to those who need it. We have contacts in different places where it's really tough. But war is creating challenges beyond life that can be rebuilt. Uh, today we learned that uh, one of these contacts in uh, people who were receiving, um, who we were kind of collaborating with in a city up north, uh, they just died. As Roman says, courage is what drives people like him, who call Ukraine home, to bind together. It is actually getting easier for us to work and fight back, regardless of the fact that massive destruction is happening to lots of cities. Roman says anyone with a laptop, a device, an idea is helping, and that beyond the casualties, the logistics of physically, physically getting the supplies to the more dangerous parts of the country right now is tough because of all the damage to infrastructure. Mm, that is something. Where's the science in the newsroom? Thank you.